Hi everyone, Tyler here from TWA Tech. Today we're going to be talking about how to rename email file attachments and save them to SharePoint using Power Automate. So let's get started. Okay, so we have a scenario where we're going to receive an email every day uh, with an attachment, an Excel file, and we want to save it to SharePoint and then rename it in, to include today's date and time. So this is a flow uh, that we're going to be doing over uh, two videos. So we're going to focus on the first part with this video where we receive the email. Uh, we It gets moved to a specific folder in your email. That's the trigger. Um, it then uh, we're going to save it to a SharePoint site, specific folder in a SharePoint site, and then rename it uh, to include today's date and time. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so the trigger is when an email arrives and lands in a specific folder in your email. For this case, I'm using a folder called testing. And you'd have to set up that rule in your email so that when a specific type of email, whether it's by subject or has attachments or whatnot, and then you pick a folder for it to go to. Um, I'm looking for only emails in this sent to this folder that have attachments and only those with attachments. Next we're going to create two variables. First, using the initialized variable action, we're going to create a variable called attachment name. Uh, it's a type is a string and we're not inputting any value to start with. Second is timestamp variable, calling it timestamp it's a string and again no value. Okay next we're going to use the apply to each. Essentially we're going to be uh, applying these next steps to each uh, attachment that's in the email. So under the apply to each action we're going to select in the output the attachment itself under the dynamic content and when new email arrives. Then we're going to add values to our variables using the set variable action. So the, under the first variable, the attachment name, we're going to add the value attachment name from dynamic content that is from the email itself. Then we're going to add a value to the next variable, the timestamp variable, using an expression. Uh, we're using the expression format date time and we're using the format year, month, day, dash, hour, minute, seconds. Next we're going to take our variables and build our file name using the compose action. So the first compose action we're going to get the first half of the attachment name in the email using the expression first and split. So we're going to look for everything before, everything to the left of the period in the current attachment name. That's going to be our get file compose action. Next we're going to take the everything to the right of the period um, in our attachment name using the left and split expression. So this is an Excel file. This is going to be the um, XLSX extension name. And then lastly, we're going to use the concatenate compose action to essentially build, taking the various components and, and building our dynamic file name. So in this expression, we're using concatenate and then we're combining two of the outputs in one variable. So the first output is the everything to the right of the attachment name, then a dash, then our variable timestamp, which will have the date and time, then a period, and then the um, file extension, uh, which is in this case XLSX. And this will essentially combine these various pieces and this will be our file name. 
So the last thing we're going to do is create the file. And to do this, we're going to need the SharePoint site address, the full path, and then the folder path where we're going to save the file within the SharePoint site. And then for the file name, we're going to take the output from our compose action, concatenate full file name. And then for the file content, we're going to take the dynamic content, the attachment content. So that's the dynamic content from the email. And that's that. That's all we need to do to finalize this flow. Okay, so now we're going to test the flow. I'm going to be sending this file, test file one, um, to my account that has the flow set up. Uh, it will enter my Outlook inbox. It will be moved to a specific file, uh, folder, and then that should trigger the flow. So I'm going to start it now, and let's see what happens. So we can see it's running now. It shouldn't take long. It should show up here. And it just did. And you can see the naming convention. So test file one, then a dash, then the date, and dash, then the time, and then doc XL SX. And that's I'm just refresh it here and you can see it's succeeded. It takes four seconds. For more information on this flow and more, make sure to visit my website at twatech.com. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description below. So that concludes my video. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the latest technology tips, and to visit my website at twatech.com, where you'll find even more tips and tricks. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.